the golden sphere, the thing of my desires, trapped behind this door. However will we be able to get through? Nothing seems to work. But maybe if we had a key, we could get through. This is probably the oldest, most common thing in any video game, the door and key problem. So what we do is we walk over the key, we get a sweet particle effect, we can now walk up to the door and it opens and we can finally discover what the golden cube does. It makes everything that's a static mesh turn to gold in our level. So without further ado, we're gonna talk about how to make a key, a door, and maybe as a bonus, we'll talk a little bit about how I jankily turned all the meshes in my scene into gold. Okay, so there's gonna be quite a few steps to this. I'm gonna try to not make it boring. The first thing, there's a door, there's a key, and then there's the player ourselves, okay? So by default in Unreal, we don't know who the F we are, right? So we're gonna come over here to our content browser, blueprint class, and we're gonna make a type character, okay? So you're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna show you because some of this is boring, so I sped it up. I made my character and I named him Goldman because why not? So I'm gonna open up Goldman and in here you won't see this. You're gonna see just like three empty nodes, delete them. You're gonna wanna make this exact same setup. So you're gonna want an impet move forward, move right, look, vertical, add controller, add controller, add movement, add input. So you see all these values and if you can't figure out what these are, just really quick, project settings, input, right here, access mappings. You're gonna wanna make sure you have these set up as well. You're not gonna be able to walk around, you're not gonna be able to see or do anything. So to add these, you just click this little plus button, you'll name them and make sure these set to the one and negative one respectively, how they're set up, okay? So now that we can confirm that gold man is our gold guy, the next thing we wanna do is confirm that our gold guy is gonna be used when we play the game. So we wanna go to blueprint classes and we wanna make a game mode base. And I'm gonna name this Gold man game mode. Boom. And we might be asking, what is this? This is just data. Think of it as a bunch of rules on how the game works. So I take gold man gameplay, and over here you see default pawn class. Oh, guess what? Think about a character as a type of pawn. So the default one, we're gonna type in gold man. And so now our game data knows that gold man is our guy. And the last thing we're gonna do is go to edit, project settings. And again, I'm gonna go to maps and modes. And I'm gonna set the default pawn class, but I can also just set the default game mode to Goldman game mode. And you can see it's updated all this data. And this is kind of like what Unreal starts. So we've set our character, we've made a character, we've set it in some data, and we made it told Unreal to use that data when it starts. Hopefully that makes sense. So, if you click play right now, you should be able to do something like this. The only thing that might be confusing, when you make your character, the only thing you're gonna need to do is add a camera, like this, and you wanna make sure you click on use pawn rotation, okay? So, that should get you to the point that we just saw here, where you're walking around, okay? But at this point, it's not gonna do us very much good to get the key, you can see, I can't even do anything with it. So we're gonna make a key now. So what are we gonna do to make the key? Well, add import. This is if you get like a cluttered thing, you can always right click in here, but if you can't, you just do this blueprint class of type actor. And I'm gonna type mine gold key. Well, I like to start with BP for blueprint. Uh, gold key. And you open that bad boy up and here, we're just gonna add a mesh. If you don't have a static mesh, I'm sorry, but you should be able to just use anything. So you add a static mesh, come over to the side here, type in whatever is available to you. If you got just a cube or a sphere or something you can find, that'll do. And then add a component. And then I'm gonna type in sphere. I'm gonna go sphere collider. And you can see now I've got this. I'm gonna hit the R key for scale. I'm gonna scale up this a little bit. This is a Again, a sphere collider. This is gonna be the thing that our player walks into. I got that all set up. I'm gonna to go to the event graph now and get to the right end of the code. So take all these, smash the delete button, bring in the sphere collider. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on it, add event on begin overlap. 
And so this is saying if anything walks into that sphere, the second it does, fire off all these commands. So when something walks in, we wanna to check to see if that other thing is of type gold man. Amazing, right? So you might be asking what casting is. Casting is kind of like a check. It's like when somebody's walking through a door, like, hey, are you a cat? Are you a person? And once you know that they're a cat, you might be like, okay, then I know you can do all these things and you have all these abilities. But if you're a person, I know you have all these different abilities that are saved to this type of thing. It's like a way of confirming so that we know what we can do as this thing. So as long as we are uh, the gold man, next thing we're gonna do is we need to set the gold man to get something. So we're gonna go back to the gold man, right, character, open him up. And what we're gonna do is, again, remember this is the guy, so under variables, I'm just gonna type has key, boom. And I'm gonna leave it as type boolean, compile, save. So you can see right now it's not clicked, so it means he doesn't have the key. Now I wanna come back in here, you'll see under the BP gold key, as the gold man, I can check has key. Oh, so I can set has key. So we're gonna set that variable. So when I overlap, I make sure I'm the guy and I'm going to set the key. And then what I can do is I can just destroy the actor. And the actor set to self, who's this actor? This self actor is this gold key that's in the level, the specific instance. Click and save. We can go now hit play, run in the game, run over to the key. That's the wrong key because I made another one. That's why it didn't work. Close that. Let's type in gold blueprint class, BP gold key, perfect. Drag it in, hit play, run over to it, key disappears. So what happened? The key disappeared and now our character has changed a value gold man, when he hits that, this value now changes to true. So what are we gonna do now? We go to our door, we check on our door, we check, let me get rid of this, we again have a trigger volume on the door, we check to see if anything enters it, if that other thing is our gold man, right? Let me get rid of these two. As the gold man, we wanna say has key. We're gonna get the key though. We're gonna get whatever value was stored in this and check. So again, if he's picked it up, this is now gonna be true and it goes through. I like how that rhymed. Grab this, grab this, grab this. So we're just duping it for the door closing. Again, close, it checks to see what the value is. If this value is one, it's true. And if it's zero, it's false. So now, when he walks in with the key, if he's got it, the door will open and close. Compile, save, play, walk up to the door, nothing. Walk over to the key, get it, disappears, come back to the door, door opens. Wow, we've done it, all right? So hopefully that explains a little bit about how to open doors with a key inside of Unreal. And if you wanna see how I did the gold material all over everything um, and uh, yeah, if you think that's interesting and you want to see it, leave a comment below or like this video and hopefully we'll get around to showing how we did that. So again, I don't want to make this too long. Have a good night. Have a good day wherever you are and goodbye.